Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about the ASAT scope and whether there is any difference if you capture them under a white or black background. We've received many questions about this and it's probably about time I make a video to explain it to you guys. Now before I move on to the nitty gritty details, I'll have to explain to you on how the ASAT scope works. The purpose of the ASAT scope is to analyze the light return of the diamond. Why this is useful is because it basically tells you how brilliant and fiery your diamond is by measuring how much light is going in and being reflected back out. And also, it reveals to you if the diamond have any severe light leakages. How this works is by placing the diamond on a littered background and the ASAT scope on top of it. The light from the littered background will bounce off the scope into the diamond and back out into your eyes. Under the scope, this is how a super ideal cut or high light performing diamond will look like. The red areas represents intense light return, which is where the brightness of the diamond will come from. Green areas are weaker light return, blue is contrast, and white is full light leakages. Now another way to take the ASAT scope is by using a black littered background, which somewhat works the same way. This is the same diamond taken with a black littered background. It looks pretty much the same, the red areas are slightly darker but represents the same thing, arrows are still blue which is the contrast, the greens are slightly darker green but still the same colour, and uh, however the full light leakages which were white are now black. So you just need to remember that light leakages are now black in colour. Other than that, there's nothing out of order here. However, what happens if we take a poor light performing diamond? Over here, I have an ASAT scope of a poor light performance diamond under a white littered background. Now you notice at the middle area of the diamond, there are lots of white areas. These are all bad light leakages that you want to avoid at all costs. Here is the same diamond on a black littered background. Just look how different it is. All the full light leakages has now become red in colour. This is because on a white background, lighter red remains as light red. But on a black background, light red becomes dark red. So what happens is, you're mistaking all these light leakages in the middle as intense light return. This can be very confusing to consumers as they are a complete opposite of each other. You will also notice that some of the white areas are now dark green in colour. Here is another example of a fancy shaped cushion diamond. See the big difference? The diamond looks so much better on a black littered background as it changes the light leakages to look like light return. All these massive light leakages become green which is mistaken for weaker light return. Now here's another example again using a pear shaped diamond. So you get the drift of what's happening here. So this is your answer guys. It does make a huge difference if the ASAT is taken from a white or black littered background. This is why all the ASAT scope images we provide are in the white background only. We believe in full transparency and all consumers deserve to know the full information of the diamond they are getting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email or call. Thank you for watching.